of continues this sort of uh, constant acceleration in human travel that has happened since we started walking on two legs uh, on, until the advent of the of the hyperloop. And, and what's going to be the impact on our lives? You're basically because the hyperloop travels inside a controlled environment, it will be safer than any other form of, of transportation uh, because it's in a, in a de dedicated lane and it can take you straight to, uh, to inner city areas. It will sort of eliminate or sort of avoid the congestion that is like right now tormenting uh, almost uh, all, all major urban areas, including uh, this region. Uh, because it uh, eliminates the friction from the rail and from the air, uh, it will be much more energy efficient uh, uh, than other systems. Uh, because it's on demand and direct to destination, it will be more convenient than anything you know. And because it will gradually sort of um, uh, replace uh, other forms of transportation that have greater emissions, it will contribute to making the air of our cities uh, and our environment uh, cleaner. And, and finally, because it travels inside a tunnel or a tube, uh, the noise will be contained and will be so compact that it either goes underground or within existing right of way, so it can be a very, very non-disruptive uh, way of integrating into existing urban environments. So since the, the inception 